Hey guys, this is our four-day vlog to Guadalajara, Mexico. What's up guys? So this is our Airbnb in Guadalajara, Mexico. Come join us on our little four-day trip showing you guys everything we vlogged, everything we ate. But yeah guys, we got a nice little studio. I think paid $35 a night through Airbnb. Um, but yeah, nothing too crazy. Literally all we needed, a nice kitchen, little dining room. And then we had our nice bed right here. This Airbnb did also come with a pool, which was in another building, which was pretty cool. And yeah, we were literally 10, 15 minutes walking distance away from all of the restaurants we had. And then if we wanted to go to any, you know, neighboring towns like Plaquepaque or any of the bar areas, it would be like a 15 to 20 minute Uber ride max. Guys, by the time we got to our Airbnb that night, it was already like 7 p.m. It was a long flight. We were tired and we were just freaking starving, like getting a little hangry. So we decided to take a walk out to the city and try out some food. All right, guys, end of day one. Oh my God, these chips are so good. We got a couple chips, some drinks. But yeah, end of day one, it's around nine. Did nothing too crazy, walked around a little bit. Went to one of the famous churches here and they got some street tacos. Oh, they were so good, really good. We ordered, we ordered eight and they were- <coughs> They were like really tiny. Yeah, we ordered eight. They're really tiny. Like really tiny. Yeah, and then I think we went for what? Another eight more? <laughs> no, we got another four. No, we got like four more. Yeah, so we each had six. <laughs> but yeah, they were so good. They were really good. But, yeah. but they were like super small, but the lengua? Yeah, we got lengua, cabeza, and pastor. Pastor was mid, mm -hmm. I'm not gonna lie. But lengua was so small, oh plus my God. Um, cabeza? cabeza was so freaking, that was good. Like, yeah. It was really good. Um, but yeah, guys, right now. We went now, to Oxo? Yeah, Oxo. Oxo? Yeah. I don't know. They have. It's like a gas station, but mm -hmm. no gas. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, like a, a it's a 7 Eleven, basically. Yeah. But yeah. Um, we just got hella chips, some water. And then we got agua fresca. Yeah, agua Tamarindo. Agua. That's really good. Yeah. But yeah, so far, so good. This was, I think, like 35 cents to agua fresca, which is what, like a dollar and like. 15 cents. Got some chips. We just want something refreshing, quick. We're, we're pretty <clears> tired <throat> from the plane. Yeah, and then I think tacos were like a dollar each. Yeah. Yeah, so and they were amazing. So what else? And then, yeah, we just walked back. It's around nine right now. Probably shower, get ready for tomorrow. Watch some Netflix, but yeah. Catch you guys tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Also guys, everything here is not like artificial. Doritos here, they don't got red 40. They got real cheese in them. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Alright, proceed to the route. Day two, guys. We are walking in the Lucky Pocket. Yeah, so we just got an Uber, got up. We we told ourselves we were gonna wake up at like seven. seven? Yeah, but <laughs> we woke up like at eight. Yeah, so still not bad. Yeah, not too bad. Got ready and we took an Uber to the Lucky Pocket. We're gonna eat breakfast over here, walk around. Little Proceed to the route. So pretty excited. It's gonna be like 98 to 100 degrees almost like every day. <laughs> Same size? Uh, a little bit bigger. <laughs> <laughs> Hi right, guys, we're here for breakfast at Luna Pachuli. Luna Pachuli. Um, we saw this actually on TikTok and it looked really <laughs> good. Um, it's in Telatepaque and I got chilaquiles rellenos de queso. I've always wanted to try that. I've tried chilaquiles but not rellenos de queso. And then and I got French toast, pan francés. And, and then, then we, we were going to get some coffee but I don't know. We weren't in the mood. 
Um, for like milky stuff. Yeah, because they had the really good, it looked a uh, chai manzana. Chai manzana. Um, like frat bayer. No, uh, chai manzana con um, canela. Canela, yeah. And it sounds so good, but maybe after. Yeah, but after, yeah. Here. Nice little dessert. Yeah. But. And then um, I got a limonada con hierba buena, so I think like mint. Yeah. And then, yeah. And I just got a, a mineral oh, water, yeah, topo chico. Describe the taste. <laughs> Very like natural, lemony, like mm -hmm. lemon yeah. yeah, you could definitely taste the mint, but it's not too much because I don't like stuff that's like really minty. Yeah. So this is like really good. Damn, that looks I don't know really what else good. It has in it because I just bit something. I think tiene piña también. Oh wow. It tastes like pineapple too. Oh yeah, our first cantarito of the trip, El Paran, right here. Can I just drink and it? Huh? Can I just drink it? You want to taste it? Go ahead. No, taste it. You want to taste it? Yeah. So for the tequila, we got Siete Lenguas. It's good. It's good? Strong. Can like I pour the, it in there? Yeah. All right, guys, the taste test. So I think right here they have grapefruit, lime, lemon, sal, limon, they said. Tajin. Tajin. Um, and then we added the shots of tequila. And then the tequila. So let's try it. Here it is. Cheers. <laughs> Ready? Mm-hmm. 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 Mm-hm
from the tacos was in my torta. It would be amazing. Yeah. yeah. But no, the torta was really good. But yeah, right now we're in like the main strip, the main street of like Guadalajara. And then right now we're gonna go again to. Yeah, right now we're gonna go to the main church where we went to yesterday and then probably walk a little bit past that. Because last time I got I came here, there was a bunch of restaurants and then there was more like sightseeing stuff to go and see. But yeah. Big old church. It's so pretty. Yesterday we went to another one. I think it was like, that was still really big, but maybe a little smaller than this, but this one's like one of the biggest ones, right? Yeah. It's so pretty around here, guys. After we checked out the Café Lado, guys, we went to a little bar right next to it. Got a drink or two with some fries and then walked a lot more. Kept doing some sightseeing, went to a pool and then got some quick dinner. And then we got ready for today. We woke up bright and early, guys, because we had to catch our bus for our tour that we got through Airbnb to Tequila. Our bus ride was about a little over an hour right here. You can see the beautiful view of all the agave plants and the mountains um, before we get right to our first distillery. All right, guys, so we're here at our first stop, the tequila. We had about how many shots? Seven. Seven shots. So yeah, I, and we didn't even eat breakfast, guys. Yeah, <laughs> all we had for breakfast was a, a pan, uh, yeah, a pan juice dulce. and pan dulce, like who two who, breads. Like jugo de naranja y piña, that's yeah. it. But we didn't even finish it. Yeah, so we just got a little tour right now of like how they make the añejo, extra añejo, the reposado, all that. They show us like the barrels they like cook it in and all that. Well, how they, they're supposed to quizzes at the end. How are we supposed to answer these if we're messed up? <laughs> but yeah, more <laughs> than a little kid threw up over here. <laughs> so we're like in a group. So we got this through Airbnb and we're like a little group and it's yeah, like yeah, so there's like a good 10 of us, maybe a little more, but I don't think we're getting to there's the a little kid thing. and I think he drank too much milk or something, but he was choking that shit. He was his throw up was all white. It was all leche. No, he threw up all leche. All leche. But he threw up like four times like, but like bad, like a lot. Bad. I felt bad. Yeah. So yeah, right and now. And then we told the guy, like, yeah, no, that's going to be us later. Yeah. But we're, I feel it. Well, we didn't eat breakfast, so we fucked up. Yeah, but actually, like, I feel it, but I'm not too bad anymore. Like, I feel it in my head. I mean, we could say no if we don't want any more, yeah. like, later, so. Yeah, so right now, we're going to walk around a little bit and then go to an agave plantation and then, um, yeah, take some nice pictures over there. Um, oh, look who's back. He looks refreshed. But, yeah. He's in a tank. He's in that white <laughs> feeder. He's good. Look, what are you trying? He's ready. Go, go, go. <laughs> but yeah guys right now we'll catch you guys in the I got the plantations show you guys I can't see <laughs> she's blind I can't concentrate <laughs> oh no but yeah we got you guys we'll make sure you stay hydrated no <laughs> 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 All right. We should have brought the rice crispy. At least we the kitty. This is so good. What do you think? This is crazy. It's beautiful. Yeah, right now tequila oh my god tequila finally we made it <laughs> after 10 shots <laughs> <laughs> after 10 shots we finally made it but yeah we gotta take more 10 more shots right now so yeah we'll we be back right now, <laughs> so freaking good we'll yeah. be back guys
All right, guys, so just finished shooting from tequila, walked around, went to the distillery where they make the, the agaves, the tequila for Jose Cuervo, got a nice shirt. Yeah. We'll show you guys that right now. And then, yeah, we just walked a little bit. Um, got met, a couple drinks, yeah. more cantarito, and then we just got yeah, that we got drink. Cantarito. We finished it. It's a cool, nice little cup. Yeah. Show them the cup. Yeah, and then we went to La Capilla. Uh, which is home of uh, where La Batanga was first made. La Famosa Batanga is basically Coke, lime, and tequila. So, yeah, we met the owner. Really good. Yeah, he was really nice. So, he was so cool. Yeah, we signed his book and everything. Took a picture with him, but yeah. Yeah, right now we're probably gonna go to El Guero, dance a little bit, drink, take some more shots, but yeah. Okay, we're gonna record this. But yeah. All right, we'll catch you guys in a little bit. Just had our little cantarito. Check it out. A little. Medium. We got a size medium. Yeah, medium one with four shots, and I'm yeah. not even gonna lie, like it was feeling good. And then like we got up and I started. <laughs> but yeah, guys, look at the view behind us right here. The mountain of the uh, agaves. Guys, after the last bar in Tequila, we were so freaking tired. We had to take the bus ride back home. It was a good like hour and a half because there was so much traffic during that time. Um, by the time we got home, it was already late. We showered up, had quick dinner by the house, and knocked the fuck out, guys. We were so tired. The next thing on our agenda today, guys, was to visit the Mercado. This is one of the biggest mercados in Mexico with over 4,000 vendors. This Mercado was called San Juan de Dios. It had three floors, the top floor consisting of a bunch of shoes, as you guys can see right here. Literally everything from Yeezys, Jordans, Nikes, Adidas. Then the second floor was a bunch of food vendors. They had everything from tortas, seafood, chips, anything you can name of. And then the main floor right here, they were selling birds. And then they had a bunch of other knickknacks, like they were selling clothes, boots, um, and, yeah, and a bunch of other different food. After walking out from the Mercado, we walked a little bit and we noticed a lot of people and that's when we realized there was literally an election going on. It was so cool to watch, so many supporters. Um, and then right across, we went to the Joyeria and I got a lot, well, I got like two earrings, but this place was huge, guys. This was like a three floor um, jewelry store. And then the next day we had breakfast bright and early. Yeah, so we didn't really vlog that much yesterday, but um, we went to a nice steakhouse, uh, Santo Coyote. Um, have a couple videos of that. That was so good, guys. Yeah. That was one of the main reasons we came here. Yeah. That was the steakhouse. Um, 
and it lived up to the hype. That was, that was so freaking good, and the atmosphere of that. Um, yeah, there was like restaurant a restaurant so beautiful. There was a museum upstairs of like over a thousand bottles of tequila, tequila, and then some of them were you could even purchase, and like there's just a bunch of like sculptures and stuff. Oh my god, like it was so nice. The lights, everything was really nice. But yeah, then after um, we came back for a little bit, and then we went out to like a we, whole strip of like bars and restaurants yeah. so pretty that strip just kept going on and on and on yeah. so many bars we went to like four four or five yeah yeah um no, but it was crazy like all the whole street like shits on it shits on like all the chicago bars oh my god yeah like, all of them were so yeah. nice the lights everything's just so pretty like and yeah. then in the middle of the it's like w one side of the street. street is all restaurants and bars and then it's cars driving and in the middle of the street it's all like sellers like vendors yeah there's a bunch of vendors yeah and then it's the other the left side and it's even more bars yeah and, and there was a couple of um clubs we wanted to go to but those you had to buy like a bottle for you know for your table or whatever mm -hmm. but yeah we went to a couple of nice really nice bars we went to like think like two rooftop um mm -hmm. bars oh my god they were so, so nice, nice. and it's not even like expensive or anything yeah like, and what we like to do we like going to like like if we're gonna be bar hopping like one or two drinks per yeah like yeah two drinks man yeah. if we really like the bar yeah yeah because one bar it was called rocket and it was really cool and most of these places had like live music yeah one had like a drag show it was hilarious. yeah that one was good <laughs> it was hilarious um, um just so entertaining and the first one we went to was more chill, but so many lights and like really good like DJ music. The lights and the ambience and like all these places are so like, it's yeah. so sick, right? Yeah, it's really nice. But um, <coughs> it's just been like, we've done so many things in this short amount of time. And, and I told her too, in the beginning of the trip, she's like, oh, should we stay for like a week? I'm like, dude, I think four days, well, four and a half, whatever. Yeah, I was like, I'm already like here in the airplane. I was lot. like, what if we add a couple days? <laughs> I'm like, we could um, re redo our um, itinerary. Yeah, like re book our flight for when we leave. <laughs> I'm like, we need a few more days. And he's like, I don't know. And then no, like the second day, I was like, okay, I'm tired. <laughs> I was already tired, so. Yeah. And then today we'll probably, I think, we'll just go to a mall. Or if not, yeah, we're gonna go to one of like those big malls they have here. Mm -hmm. um, Check out like a Zara. I think they have like a Nike too. Yeah, they have a bunch of stores. H and yeah, I was looking on TikTok right now. They have so many stores. Um, probably come back, have a small dinner. Mm -hmm. Maybe, Maybe go to the pool a little bit. Pool. Or if not, like hit up the church again. Yeah. Yeah. Actually, yeah. If it cools down, it's mm -hmm. the hottest day. Oh today. yeah, today's so hot. Oh my god. It's like 102. And it's like, today's like more today's humid. Today's really humid yeah. and hot and oh my god. Like, yeah, we walked out and like today's like the only day I felt like a sticky. Little sticky. Yeah. yeah, right now we went to eat and it was like a, a lot of walk. restaurants here, like if they're like smaller, or like in the little streets, mm -hmm. they're not like, they're no not going to be outside. There's <laughs> no AC. Yeah. Um, so we were like eating and it was really hot. Yeah. Yeah. So we're not, we literally got here and I'm like, okay, I'm gonna chill under the air conditioner really yeah. quick. But today's just gonna be a really chill day because we really did hit everything we wanted to do yeah. this whole week. We did a lot. So, and we had to wake up really early tomorrow. Yeah, our flight's at 7 tomorrow. So we have to be there like at 4. Yeah, international's like 3 hours early or whatever, so. Yeah, get an Uber or whatever. Yeah, Pack. we have to clean up everything yeah. we have. Not a mat. Uh, no, it's just, <laughs> everything's just scattered. Yeah, yeah, but yeah, we're just really just tired and chilling today. Mm -hmm. So, I'm excited to have one last meal. Yeah, for sure. We're seeing salad maybe because <laughs> we made like shit. Not well, it's just a lot of meat, a lot of like the stuff they're known for, the tortas, the, the chilaquiles, chicharrón. Lengua, we ate a whole cow probably. We, yeah, probably within these four days, we <laughs> put a whole ass cow. Yeah. So many tacos and tacos. Oh my god. Mm -hmm. Yeah, our stomachs are starting to <laughs> want some more greens, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Where are we at right now? We're at La Mara Lena. Um, we saw it on TikTok. It's supposed to be really popular in Guadalajara. So exciting. Look what's across. Lululemon. <laughs> um, 
Dude, they like sat us down, put my napkin on me, took my bag. They took her back. Like, I was like getting full on service. Like, Man, really pretty place. Let's see what we get to eat. Guys, this restaurant was the best way to end our trip. We literally have never been to a steakhouse before together and this definitely was probably one of the best foods we've ever had. The restaurant was in the middle of a beautiful mall. As you can see right here, this was literally a huge ass mall. So freaking pretty. And it was just a great way to say goodbye to Guadalajara. Thank you guys for watching our vlog. It means a lot to us. If you ever get the chance, come visit Guadalajara. This place was amazing. And if you guys have any questions of any of the places we went to or ate, comment down below and we'll try to answer any of the questions you guys have. Peace. Catch you guys in the next one.